Ah, hey everybody. Sunday, so I'm out checking some traps. There's a whole bunch of fresh sign right there. It looks like good Martin. More than one, definitely. And, uh, yeah. Oh, shitty. Look at that. Got me a Martin. Tiny little one, but had some wet weather. Well, it's just wet. I thought it was chewed up. Perfect. This is like the second of the only two Martin sets I have out right now. And they're both along this little section coming into this bait station. But yeah, so coming in dragging bang this I got some links and some wall snares in here and coming up this is the only spot I really have anything going I got one other base site and a couple uh 330 sets got a power ram right there our wolf masters and another one right there but uh Aside from that Martin tracks there, it doesn't look like anything's been moving around. Yeah, see that Martin is... There's definitely fresh ones coming around because that one's... All those tracks are not... Uh, not from that one I just caught. So... We got some Martin signs, so... That's the only one I'll be doing. I don't know if I'll be... Setting any more up. I doubt it because I'm working, like I said this Sunday and I'm not sure about any other day after this if I'll be out checking or not so if you all remember right here's where I had that big fisher and doesn't really look like much has been moving around in here at all since then see underneath this tree my snare's been knocked down. So I got a wolf master right here. I figured it'd be a nice little spot if anything came, any wolves came in, but <coughs> ain't nothing been in here aside from that fish. You know, it's like we or whatever it is got this beaver right down to sheer bones. So, I'll throw this links in here and carry on down the road. Alrighty. Hey guys, just walking down into one of my sets. Uh, a Lynx pen and a Lynx 330 stump set down this way, and I think that's all. But, there's some nice size wolf tracks couple days old that's not a small hand for us or a good size hand so that uh it's pretty encouraging to know that they're still around like i said uh, in my last video i ain't gonna be doing too much uh too much other than this here snare pan and this thumb set because it's in between two bait station so all I'm really gonna be doing is just running these wolf station wolf baits while I'm uh while I'm working because I can I can leave them to check once a month uh, once a week you know every seven days if you know the weather gets real mild like it had been I can it's still close enough to home where I can just go do a run and do a night check too so uh yeah, they're heading right down this way. Oops. This road, actually, I can't travel it no more, but this is one of the ones that went down and around into uh, where I was catching beaver. Not the big old split tail beaver, not the chew out beavers at that dam, but uh, the other spot I was trapping them. So yeah, and there's a couple of them around still. That's good. Uh, I'll turn you guys on if I get anything else. Well, 
Coming up to my stump set, and I might be wrong, but from the road, it looked like my 330 was sprung. Oh, God darn it. Little Martin. Oh, and this bugger's still alive. Shit. No oh, shit's been around here for a while. All right, well, that's terrible. Terrible catch on this Martin right around the waist. Can't. All right, sorry guys. Let's get this guy out of his misery. <laughs>